Hello everybody, happy Wednesday. It's Nikki Gordon-Bloomfield here from Transport Evolved. I hope you've had a most excellent day. Thank you for all the fantastic comments that you left to Monday's Thought of the Day. But before we start on today's Thought of the Day, I do want to ask you a couple of eeny, tiny, teeny little things. First of all, I want to apologise for using the word Trump, which I was using in the context of beating or being better than, and I realised that that word choice was insensitive given what happened last week. I'm sorry. I'll knock that word out of my dictionary for future use. But while I'm on the subject, please, can we all be a little nicer to one another in the comments? I love the fact that I'm getting now so many comments to the Thought of the Day videos. It's really nice to know that my Thought of the Days are sparking conversation and thought and engagement amongst the Transport Evolved viewers. But it's also engaging some name callers and some people being not very nice to one another. I don't like that, frankly. I don't mind it if you want to call me names once in a while, but calling each other names, not cool. So, to quote a certain film, I want you to be most excellent to one another in the comments. Promise? Okay, let's get on to today's thought of the day, namely noisemakers in electric cars. This week, we heard that the federal government has finally set a deadline for mandatory noisemakers in electric cars moving forwards. And if you followed the electric and green car world for any length of time, you'll know that this has been an issue since, well, electric cars first started rolling off production lines. My first 2011 Nissan Leaf had a noisemaker that you could switch on or off, and I preferred it off, but okay, it came with one. My current 2013 Nissan Leaf has a noisemaker as standard, but my 2002 RAV4 EV, well, it has no noisemaker, but it still makes noise as it's traveling along the ground. And people have argued for a long time that above speeds of about 10 miles an hour, the noise of the tyres is greater than the noise of an engine or greater than the noise of a fake noisemaker. But nevertheless, it seems that the regulation is in place now, so there's no point arguing about whether it's needed or not. My question to you today, the thing I want you to think about is, what noises do you think electric cars should make, or hydrogen fuel cell cars, or any other type of low volume car that doesn't have a suck, squeeze, blang, blow engine under the hood making rackets of noise. Um, and also maybe the super quiet internal combustion engine cars, because let's face it, they're pretty quiet too. Do you want to have customizable noises under your hood? I mean, like, would you like your car to sound like a pod racer, for example? Or do you want to have some other kind of weird spaceship sound? Or perhaps you want to have some custom-made noise that you've made yourself? Or do you think automakers should just all have the same noise for their cars? And if so, what should that noise be? Should it sound like a sci-fi version of an electric motor with lots of high-pitched whirring? Or should it sound like an old-fashioned petrol or diesel car? I want you to leave your thoughts in the comments below, as well as a thumbs up and a share if you liked. And if you didn't, give me a thumbs down. I can take it, as long as you tell me why, so I can improve. And as always, I'll be back later on this week with another episode of the TEN News Show, Transport Evolved News, the roundup of the week's news in the world of cleaner, greener, safer and smarter vehicles. And as always, if you liked what you saw today and want to keep us independent and impartial, you can do so by heading to www.patreon.com forward slash Transport Evolved and you can make a donation there from as little as $1 per month. That's less than a coffee. In fact, that's less than most things. One dollar per month, and that will help keep us running, paying the bills, and the doors open at Transport Evolved. It is my only form of income, so any funds you can send my way will be gratefully received. That's it, and until next time, keep evolving.